All right, welcome to another episode. In the last episode of our Discord bot dashboard, I showed you all how to create different servers to test the bot to make sure that, it, that the prefix works in different guilds. And I also showed you how to add the guild config uh, instance to memory after you after it was created or it was found from the database. Uh, so that way, whenever they whenever the bot joins the server, um, it'll actually like the configuration will actually be loaded into memory, so it doesn't need to be fetched from the database over and over again. Uh, so what we're going to do now in this video, in this episode, is we're going to go ahead and set up the simple welcome channel ID. And that's just going to be a very simple one. It's not going to be anything like where the user is going to react to a message and it's just going to work. It's going to be very, very simple. All it's going to do is just going to send a message to the channel. That's literally it. So a welcome channel message. Um, and it's just going to tag the user. And uh, the whole point of this is we're just going to allow the uh the administrator to configure this later on so that way uh whenever users join it will send it in a different channel once they have configured that now in order to actually get this to work we need to obviously listen to an event for whenever a member joins and that event is called the guild member add event so if i go over to the discord js documentation you can see that we have a guild member add event right over here and you can click on the type and you can see every all the properties that you can get now, in order to actually uh, receive this event, there's a couple of things that I should note beforehand. Uh, I think one, we do need to make sure we are opted into the correct uh, intents. So it seems like we need the guild members intents. Okay, so let's make sure we do that first. So I can go over to the index.ts file inside the source folder, uh, inside the intents array. I can just do intents dots flags dot guild members and that should do the trick for me and this intents uh this is a class uh seems like it has a static field called flags seems like yep yeah it's literally just a class that is imported from the discord js library right up top over here i already had it already so we're just going to reuse that okay um and yeah so this will literally give us all of the guild members intents and I think one more thing that I do want to mention before we proceed is, uh, let me just make sure. Okay. Um, in the bot section of your application, um, you do need to make sure that you have server member intents enabled. I think you need to have this. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. So you do need to have this enabled. Once your bot reaches over 100 servers, you will need to verify your bot and get it approved. Uh, so if you don't have this server members intents option enabled for your bot, you are not going to receive guild members uh, events through the gateway, even if you have the intents enabled. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure to uh, mention that. So there, it's two things that you need to make sure you do. Uh, make sure you have the intent enabled and then make sure you have, ma ma I'm sorry, make sure you have the server members intents enabled on the developer portal and then make sure you opt into the intents in the actual Discord bot in the actual code the next thing that we have to do is we need to actually create the uh, event class so we can actually listen to these events uh so like i said since, since we're using slappy we're just going to go ahead and do that so we're going to use the slappy package to do it for us let me zoom in so we're going to generate an event guild member add is the event that we want okay um, I don't think there's any other one. We could also do guild member remove too if you want to do like a like a leave channel, but that's up to you. Uh, let's just do guild member add for now. Let's hit enter, and there we go. It creates it for us. Uh, okay, cool. So let's just make sure that the event is working. Guild member joined. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a test account. Well, not a test account. I'm going to use my uh, I'm going to use my account to join the server. Let me just open up the logs real quick. Okay, so the servers, uh, the server's good. Uh, let me go ahead and grab an invite link. Whoops. Let's grab an invite link for the server, and I'm gonna go ahead and join it on my on my accounts. Okay, so my account just joined. Uh, and now you can see that uh, seems like, did it log? Uh, 
I don't think it logged guild member add. Oh, it did. There we go. Guild member joined. Perfect. Okay, I don't know why it took a while, but well, that's a little bit weird. But anyways, there we go. That's good. It logged in the console, so we know that it's being logged. Okay, we know that it's being logged, which means that we are receiving the event. Okay, that's great. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to send a message to the corresponding channel if there actually is a welcome channel uh, set. Okay, now remember by default, the welcome channel ID is null. Okay, we haven't written a command yet for the administrator to set the welcome channel ID. We'll have to do that. As well as, as well as modifying the prefix before we actually continue to dashboard part. I'll do that in the next couple of episodes, don't worry. But uh, what we're going to do for now is we have to, uh, first, we have to fetch the guild configuration uh, in memory, okay? And you can understand why we need to retrieve it from memory because think about it. If we were to just fetch from the database, again, if you have a lot of members that are joining, you're going to have to make one call to a database every single time if you have your bot in like 500,000 guilds and you have let's say you know uh, 50 people joining every you know every second it's gonna be a lot of events a lot of uh, a lot of events a lot of uh, database calls and when you don't want that okay uh, obviously long term to actually scale this properly you could probably implement redis um but that's like I said, that's a that's a later story uh, we'll probably save that for maybe like a, a later video once we get to like episode like you know like 30 40 ish but we won't, we won't worry about that for now so we don't have to worry about fetching the database all we got to do is just literally get the config from the client just like this so uh client.configs.gets okay and all we got to do is just call member.guild.id or not call, I'm sorry, reference it. And this will give us the guild that they joined. So let me actually write a couple of logs real quick. Uh, joined member.guild.id. Let's log that. And let's just make sure that we have the correct config as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the server. And I'm gonna rejoin. Okay, so right now, you can't see my other screen, but don't worry about it. Just pay close attention to the logs right over here. Right over here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and join the server now. Guild member joined, and you can see that it joined the correct server. Okay, great. And it got the correct guild configuration. Good. Now, is there ever going to be an instance where this config might be null? um that's a tricky question i feel like it could be null if you know for for some reason uh the the guild the uh the guild create event just fails and it doesn't add it to the server or i'm sorry it doesn't add it in memory uh, i feel like that would be a situation where it would fail uh but ultimately i don't think it should be ever be null in my opinion okay if it is null for some reason you can try to fetch it from the database uh if that fails then um uh, you, then I don't know. That's 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 a whole different problem. But you would have to identify why it's failing in order to figure out, um, in order to figure out what the pro how to how to solve that. But for now, we're just gonna assume that it's always gonna be there. Okay. So what we're gonna do is if config that welcome channel that ID, and you can see by default TypeScript is gonna use or not TypeScript, but the VS Code since this is possibly going to be undefined this config it'll use the question mark by default if i get rid of that it's going to give me this red line but using the question mark will do like a safe check so even if it is null this will this whole thing will still resolve to falsy so that's what this question mark does okay um so if config dot welcome channel id so um if it is i mean okay if config for some reason is null we can honestly just not even do anything we can just return and we don't even need to worry about this question mark, okay? Because it doesn't really matter what we do in this guild member ad event because we don't really need to do anything else, at least right now, okay? So we can just return if there's no config. And all we're really just doing is just sending a message to the channel, which isn't really a huge deal. Uh, but if it is available, we will send it. So now if config is truthy and if 
welcome channel ID is also truthy as well. So this has to be truthy. Okay, you can see that it's null in every single one of them. Okay, but don't worry. I'll, we'll, we'll update in the database later manually just to test it out. So if there is no welcome channel ID, then we're just gonna I'm just gonna write a log. Uh, for now I'm just gonna write no welcome channel set. Okay, but obviously you can just get rid of these logs. So it doesn't really matter. But if there is one, what we need to do from here is we need to fetch that channel and then send a message. So how do we do that? Well, we need to get the guild. So we have the guild. We can get it by doing member.guild. Well, how do we get the channel though? Well, guild has this property called channels. And channels has this property called cache. So we can actually... Uh, and, and cache is also a collection, so we can call it dot .get and pass in the channel ID, like this, okay? Uh, now, this could possibly be, uh, it could possibly uh, be undefined because there might be no channel that exists, so we do have to uh, check for that, okay? So if there's no channel... Uh, we probably would want to send an error message to like an admin log because this what this means is that there is a welcome channel set in the database, but that channel ID uh, that there's no channel with that ID found. So we should actually send this to a log channel, but we'll worry about that later. If there's no channel, we'll just write a simple console log. No channel found for welcome. No, wait, wait, no welcome channel found. Okay. Uh, and I'll just simply get rid of this. However, if there is a channel, we want to send a message to the channel. And right now you can see that IntelliSense is not going to let me send it. And the reason why is because by default, this is a guild based channel. It doesn't know that it's a guild text channel. So we actually need to cast that. Uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do this. Uh, let me see. As guild text, uh, text channel. There we go. I'll assert it as a text channel because it really should be a text channel. Um, and we'll do channel dot send. And I think in version thirteen, you actually need to pass in. You can pass in a string. I think you, yeah, you can still pass in a string. If you want to do embeds, that's a different story. You have to actually pass in an object now. Uh, well, I mean, I know there were some different issues or some different changes, but we'll just do uh, welcome. Member. I'm not sure if you can still actually tag members like this. We'll find out in just a second. All right, so let me go ahead and do this. Um, let me go ahead and get an invite. Let me leave the server and pay attention to the logs, okay? Oh, yeah, not the logs anymore. I'll pay attention to this. Okay, so we're going to join the server. Oh, okay, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't even set any channel yet, but let's look at the logs. Okay, so no welcome channel set. Good. So it went through all of the logic. Okay, and it went to no welcome channel set. So now we have to test the situation where if there is a welcome channel. So how do we do that? Well, we don't have a command yet. But what we'll do is we'll just set a simple... We'll just do the general channel for now. I'm going to copy the ID. And I'm just going to modify. I'm just going to go into the database and manually update manually update this okay uh and like i said make sure you have the mysql shell uh working because it's very helpful but in in future episodes we'll actually create these uh and like in the next couple episodes i'm going to actually create the commands to change the prefix change the uh text channel just for testing purposes and then we'll actually but those won't really matter because once we have the actual discord dashboard that's going to really take care of everything for us Let's go ahead and update guild configurations, uh, set welcome channel ID, set that to this where ID equals one. There we go. So now uh, we do need to reset the bot because we just updated something on the database and that and, and the server doesn't know the bot doesn't know that. Uh, if I go into here, there we go. We had the welcome channel ID set. Let's go ahead and uh leave and join again and it should send a message to the channel now welcome yahoo news perfect it pinged us too perfect so that works great 
there you go. That's just how you set up a welcome message. And if you want to do, uh, if you want to do a message for when the user leaves, it's literally just the same exact logic. All you have to do is just listen to the guild member remove event. You need to make sure you have the same. Uh, you have to make sure you have the same intents enabled. Okay, uh, and it's literally just the same logic. Only difference is you just uh, you know say goodbye in the message. That's it. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this episode. Hopefully you all liked it. In the next episode, uh, I think what I'll do in the next episode is I'll set up the uh, set prefix command and I'll set up the set welcome channel ID command just for testing purposes. Uh, and then once we're done with that, uh, we can actually start moving on to the uh, to the actual dashboard side of things. So I'm really excited, but I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.